Welcome to my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you're first time, uh, thanks for landing on my channel. I hope you like your reading. Um, if you're, um, okay. Hey Aries, welcome to my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. Nice to see you guys. So we're gonna be doing a love kind of reading here. We're gonna look at the energy that's around you. Um, I, I, a lot of these readings kind of have been very twin flamey. Okay. I hate to call it a twin flame reading. So I don't want to like box it in, but that's the vibe that's been coming up. Um, so it could very well be for those of you who believe you're in a twin flame union, um, are in separation from your twin at the moment, or, you know, just in a, um, a deep, you know, soulmate, um, divinely guided connection. Okay. So these um, are pre-shuffled. I'm going to start putting them out as I do some announcements. Okay. Um, so I want to invite you guys to my Patreon. Um, my Patreon is where all of my extended readings are. Okay. It is a community of a bunch of people who, um, you know, enjoy my readings. They, um, are all into tarot. Okay. I have a Facebook group for my people on Patreon to all, um, come together and, you know, be in a community, but you get discounts on personal readings. When you sign up, you get, um, uh, put into contests for free readings every month. If you sign up and you get access to all of my extended readings when you sign up. Okay. So the link for the Patreon is below. Wow. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> this reading will have an extended, um, as well. So if you want access to that, then click that link below, look through all your options and see which one works for you. There's four membership levels. Okay. And each one has like more and better perks. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. I have my, um, Instagram, uh, what's it called? My Instagram link below, my Facebook group link below. Wow. And I'm getting distracted by how cool these cards are. Um, and links to all the cards and the decks that I use below. Okay. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this does not resonate for you, check your other placements or book a personal reading. That will be the only way that it is actually for you. I am now doing twin flame readings along with my other general readings. Go to my website. That's right. My website is also below the link for that. Okay. I sell jewelry, um, manifestation jewelry, intention jewelry. And, um, I also, you can book readings for, from me through the website. Okay. So like I said, I'm now doing twin flame readings. All right, you guys really cool energy here. Some of it's like, Whoa, what is that? But overall it's like really cool. Okay. We have closure to start off. Okay. There's closure here. We have courage. We have psychic abilities. This is coming up for a lot of people lately. The garden and the gate. And then look at this blossoming abundance. So look at like, it's just this kind of interesting, like gardeny type vibe. Okay. If you're into gardening flowers, that kind of thing. Maybe this is for you. And then we have all tied up. That's very interesting. I might read that one. Okay. Then we have soulmates. Look at that. Thinker, new life and exchanging gifts. Wow. Wow. All right. Some of you Okay. This is what, this is the vibe I'm getting like right off the bat. Okay. Some of you are still tied up with the past. 
Some of you need closure and you're still tied up and bound to somebody from the past that you may not even be with anymore. Okay. And you need that closure to be able to move forward because you have a soulmate here and there's a new life here. And this exchanging gifts is about an authentic relationship. This, I mean, it can be about other things, but to me in this reading, this is about having an authentic relationship where you're sharing your gifts um, with one another. You're sharing your authentic self with one another. Okay, we have the courage card. You might be dealing with a Leo. There's something you need closure on and you're all tied up still, all right, to it. Um, I think that you know your third eye is opening. You're getting more in touch with your psychic gifts. Um, this garden and the gate, this is about having something good here with this garden, but she's locked herself into the garden and won't go out exploring and anything more, okay? She's safe and secure within her little garden and the universe has a lot more for her out there, all right? Um, this blossoming abundance is exactly what it's talking about. I mean, there's something blossoming here and it's very abundant, okay? Um, let's pull a few cards here from the astrological energy. You spirit, what is the astrological energy? Okay, Saturn, wisdom. Okay, you're being asked to use wisdom here. Oh yeah, I was going to read all tied up. Okay. And we have North Node Destiny. Okay, this is about your experience, your destiny, your journey, your path, your development. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Where's my bookie book? Oh, yeah, that's right. I put it in here. Okay. Energy Oracles 23. All tied up. Lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. This card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists and arms. Again, with the plants and stuff. Receiving this card upright re represents a situation in your life where, you, where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward. Or it may be that some technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting on a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. Hmm. Whatever is holding things up, the restriction may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. If this isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Are you tying yourself up to some emotional angst or to a negative habit that you refuse to deal with? If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You needn't live in your self-imposed jail any longer. Okay, this is very Eight of Swords energy, self-imposed bondage. Um, but what I'm feeling from this is for some of you, you're like going through a divorce and you're not quite divorced yet. Okay, and there needs to be closure there until before like things can open up for you. Because like I said, there might be a contract that's waiting to be signed or something like that. Okay, very interesting. But we have soulmate here in a new life. I mean, there's a new life here for you. Um, and for others of you, you're just staying stuck in this energy with an ex or with somebody in the past. Something you need closure from. Okay, this is very eight of cups and like eight of swords energy, like walking away from something and then like self-imposed bondage here. Oh, very interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on with the tarot. Thank you, spirit. I pray for clarity for the situation. Speak to us about what is going on. Okay, seven of cups. Seven of Cups, wondering which direction to go. Options, making choices. Okay. Queen of Wands, there you are. Aries, Pisces, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, that's you, the Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, Three of Pentacles is working with somebody. Um, can talk about collaboration. But then the Two of Cups is, you know, a soulmate connection. And then the lovers, well, it's lovers. Okay. And the Empress, New Beginnings. All right, let's clarify these cards and see what's going on. Okay. Because here you are, Queen of Wands, all right? And you've got choices, but you have the ability to collaborate with somebody here and collaborating with somebody who um, is a soulmate, you know? When I see this, like, exchanging gifts card, this reminds me of, like, the Three of Pentacles because it's somebody who you and the, your gifts and their gifts combined, like, um, makes this dynamic duo, okay? Like, um, in, an, in another deck, this card shows three people weaving a tapestry together. And it's like, you're, you're joining forces with somebody to weave the tapestry of life. And um, using your gifts and their gifts together is, you know, creates this, you know, unstoppable force, really, and you guys can work together well as a team. That's what the Three of Pentacles is. It's, to me, it's an energy of you working well together with somebody um, in collaboration, okay? A lot of times it can work, it can talk about a work um, partner. This could even be somebody, like a work partner, somebody you know from work, okay, or something related to your work. But there's a new beginning here with the Empress, okay? Let's clarify these cards. Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Spirit, thank you. Okay, wow, Four of Wands. That's my um, Twin Flame card. King of Wands. Wow, we have a match here. We have the King of Wands and Queen of Wands now, okay? Along with the Twin Flame card. Are you dealing with a Leo, another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries? Sorry, another, a Leo, Sagittarius, or another Aries, possibly. Okay, you're trying to make a decision and make a choice. Now, if you've been wondering which direction to go and you don't know if this person is your twin flame and they're a fire sign or have fire in their chart, this is definitely a confirmation that they are your twin flame, okay? And the reason why you're confused or blocking that out is because you're all tied up with this past situation and you need closure, okay? Because really, you know, because of this, the psychic ability, you know you have a twin flame, but there's something here with, this all tied up in this closure that is keeping you from recognizing it, okay? And making this choice, I feel, okay? Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Wands is you, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what comes out. Six of Wands. You're about to overcome something. Yep. You are about to overcome something um, that has been stressful, something that you have like set up boundaries around, something that you've been really defensive about, okay? You're about to overcome this situation. I feel like a lot of you have been very defensive and very stressed out about this closure um, with this past situation, not wanting to necessarily face it. Um, but I do see you getting victory over it and overcoming this energy here. Okay. Tell me more about the three of pentacles and the two of cups, please. Okay. Ace of wands. Yeah. Passionate new beginning and the wheel of fortune. Yes. There's a passionate new beginning here with somebody. Okay. And it's, um, your luck is changing. Something is shifting for you karmically and your luck is shifting and changing. And there's a new beginning here. 
Okay, Queen of Cups. Okay, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow, Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So somebody wanting to come in and offer some kind of new beginning to you, okay? Offer stability and happiness. I mean, this is a stable, happy um, deal here. This isn't just like, you know, small kid stuff. This is this is big time, like the stability, the happiness, the, um, the even the financial stability of it, okay? Tell me more about the lovers and the empress, please. The high priestess and the sun. Yeah, you know, <laughs> okay. You know that there's this person is your happiness and your fulfillment. I really feel like you know that. Um, but yeah, I'm very curious too. Okay, let's see here. Tell me why this closure and all tied up is here. I really, we need to get to the bottom of this here. Why is the closure and all tied up here? Okay, four of swords and justice. Okay, so some I think there's some legal thing here because of the justice, or or you're you're waiting for justice to be served here. Okay, but there's healing that's happening with four of swords, and there's some kind of justice legal issue, waiting for justice to be served in this situation. And for right now, maybe. You are legally tied up or, or tied up in such a way that you can't move forward. For some of you, that's, that's what's happening. For some of you, you just like can't move forward because of the situation. Others of you, you know, you can move forward. You can walk out of that gate, but you're choosing not to because you haven't had closure. But there's a lot of you, I feel like there's a legal situation here. Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wasn't playing fair. Somebody wasn't, um, somebody, somebody might've took something from you, took some money or there was some kind of money issue involved. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, hmm. Some of you might have money and there's a money issue here. Okay, somebody somebody was playing unfair with money. Um, somebody very like vicious too, especially with their words. Hmm. Okay, the star. Now, this is really just about waiting for divine timing, okay? Three of cups in reverse. There might have been a third party interference here with the situation. Um, somebody interfered with whatever's happening here, and there's not closure yet, okay? Um, so really, you're just waiting for healing. You're waiting for divine timing. You're waiting for, like, this to kind of all come together and make sense and be complete. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to move into the extended reading. We're going to look at like deeper into the situation. Um, we're going to look at how your person is viewing you and how they feel about you and what the most possible outcome of the situation is. We're going to look more into your um, twin flame connection, get some love oracle cards and angel answers and all that fun stuff. Okay. So if you want to join me in the extended, the link for that is below. I would love for you to join my Patreon community. Um, you get lots more perks than just my extendeds, depending on what level you sign up at. But check it out. See what works for you. Okay. Hope to see you guys there. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you're, whenever you're watching this. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.